So one of the biggest issues for a lot of DJs when they make promotional material like mixtapes is copyrights. What's up with copyrights? How does it work? And why is it such a big issue for a lot of DJs? Let's talk about that right now. Hey guys, what's going on? It's DJ TLM. You're watching DJ TLM TV. It's Monday, time for a Q&A video. And today I want to talk to you about rights, copyrights. And let me start off by saying that I've put some links in the description box down below that will lead you to some articles and pages with a lot of information about copyrights. And I would suggest that you look into that. It's not only beneficial to have that knowledge if you're an artist or a producer and you're making your own music, but also if you're a DJ and you play other people's music, it's always good to have a clear understanding of how copyrights work. Now, I might one day make a video and explain all the ins and outs of copyrights, but that would take research and preparation to make that video as clear as possible. So I'm not just gonna do that freestyle in a Q&A video. What I would wanna say to keep it very simple is, if you're using music that you did not make, did not create, then you do not own the rights to that music. Simple as that. You can buy a song in a store, on a CD. You can buy a song on iTunes. You own that song to use at home, but it's not your song. You do not own the rights to that song. So you can't mass produce it, reproduce it. You can't distribute that song. That's not allowed because it is not yours. You bought it so you can use it. That's the basics. And why? Money. Of course, it's all about money. It always is. And it makes sense. If I buy a song, cool, that's my song. I can use it. If I give that song to 10 people, then those 10 people are not going to buy the song. So someone is losing money. Makes perfect sense. I can understand. Um, now, I can do a big backstory about how I used to do mixtapes on cassettes and CDs. And that also used to be an issue, but it never became an issue for me because in the Netherlands, everything was on such a small scale. So I'm talking about a couple hundred mixtapes. So that was, quote unquote, below the record label's radar. So I never got in trouble for doing that. But that was then. This is now. And now you guys want to put your mixes online. You want to post them on YouTube, SoundCloud. And that's a problem. SoundCloud has gone crazy in the last couple of weeks, suspending and deleting small and large accounts. And I get a lot of questions from people like, what's going on? Do I need a license to put stuff online? Why is your stuff still online? To be honest, I don't know why my mixes are still online. And if I ever get a warning from SoundCloud, I'm taking those mixes off straight away because I need my SoundCloud account to give you guys your scratch tools and free beats. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll check my inbox to see because you will normally receive a warning from SoundCloud and they'll tell you like, hey, we found material and it's copyright infringement, you don't own the rights. All right, I'll take all the mixes off, no problem. Now, it's all about money. So why is it all about money when we're talking about SoundCloud? Now, record sales have gone down. People, artists and labels are not making the same amount of money from selling actual songs on CD, and even after that, when it went digital, like iTunes, they're not selling the same amount because a lot of people don't buy, buy music anymore. They stream music. So services like Spotify, uh, Tidal, you name them, that's where a lot of people go for their music. And labels have made deals with these sites and they make money when people stream their music on sites like Spotify. So if someone comes to your SoundCloud and listens to a certain song there, then they're not listening on Spotify and the label is not making money. So again, it's about money. You're taking streams away from places where they actually make revenue. So that's where the issue lies. Um, I think otherwise, if there would have been a deal with SoundCloud where the labels have a content ID system running and when they recognize a song on SoundCloud, they get money. I think there would be no problem. But since that is not the case, you have labels like Sony just telling SoundCloud, we found material, take it down. SoundCloud will have to listen because Sony owes, owns the rights to that material and they can say, we don't want that on your site and SoundCloud will have to take it down. Same with YouTube and I've had this happen on my old channel a lot, my DJ TLM channel. I posted all my mixes there. Like you just could see me mix. I would post that as a perfect way to promote myself because I always wanted people to just not 
hear me but also see what I was doing so we'll post those mixes and I received a lot of warnings sometimes they would delete the audio if a song was recognized by a certain label even if it was one song in a mix and that mix had 20 songs in there if one song is recognized by a label and that label has already made a deal with with, with YouTube they can tell YouTube if you find this song in a video take the video down or delete the audio or what happened a lot of times is they would put ads on my videos so they would just send me a notice like hey you have this and that music it's owned by that and that label you don't have to do anything your video can stay up but they're gonna be ads running on a video and that label would make money off my video so again it's about money and some labels just want all the traffic to go to their channels and they just don't want that music on any other channel but what did happen a lot of times and that's why I stopped doing it is certain countries are more strict than other countries so my videos weren't viewable in certain countries so for instance in Germany a lot of people couldn't see a lot of my videos and that was a problem for me so on my channel DJ TLM TV channel that you're watching right now I only use my own material because I don't want any copyright issues but also this means that I own the rights to everything in this video it's my content and I can do with it and I can do whatever I want with it not just post it on YouTube but if I decide to just uh, sell it let me just name an outdated medium like DVD put it on a DVD and sell it <laughs> I wouldn't do that now but a couple of years ago that might have been cool if I own the material to my video and own all the music rights and everything I can just do that if I'm using other people's music I can't put it on a DVD without first getting the approval from the label and they will only give you the approval if you pay them a lot of money so money is always the issue now I received a question a couple of times from people asking me if they need a license when they go and play somewhere because they're playing other people's music now no I've never heard of this and I don't believe that makes any sense because especially I mean at least here in the Netherlands I know that if I go to a club that club already has to pay a certain amount because they're allowing music to be played in their um, venue so they pay for that and the DJ does not have to have a license he's just uh, booked and he can play music or she can play music and that's how it works and I think that works like that everywhere I've never heard DJs that had a license to play music if if in your country it does work that way please let me know in the comment section down below but I've never heard of that and I wouldn't even know where that would happen but one guy told me in the email that the club owner told him he needed a license this is new to me this is new to me but yes at the end of the day you cannot just uh, post material anywhere if you do not own that material and some labels will really give you a hard time about that because they want all traffic to go to one certain place a place where they can make money I still don't agree with it I still feel that DJ should have a little more leeway because we help promote you but money is always the the winner when it comes to that I guess so if you have any questions you can send me an email djtlmtv at djtlm.com but make sure you click on the links below and check out that info if you want to know more about rights uh, if this answers your question then that's perfectly fine too thumbs up share the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and I will be back tomorrow with Tuesday tips peace out guys